All right, got to Moab today, this afternoon, after just a short two-hour drive from Fruta, and uh, it's gorgeous. Beautiful day, did some work. We took the kids to the pool, and I met them. We were, have full hookups, AC was cranking, because it's hot still here during the day. The sun's very strong. And um, I'm gonna give you this view as I talk to you. Might be hard to see, but it's gorgeous. <clears throat> Anyway, went back, came back from the pool, I went to cook, AC was still cranking, and then all of a sudden it shut off. And everything's been off since, no power. Um, with some tech support and stuff, we realized we think it's our converter, so we're gonna spend tonight with no power in our camper. So as Wit was using our propane stove to heat up some soup, I got inventive with just the 20 volt outlet from the campground. And you can see we have some things plugged in outside. Then we have the one outlet going in and I found some patio lights in our uh, basement. So put those up. This is what we started with cooking, but hopefully this nice dim light will, uh, oh, you can barely see me will get us through. It is cool, the windows are open, and uh, hopefully it's a minor fix tomorrow when the technician comes at about 10 a.m. So, uh, traveling's a blast. Things don't always go as planned though, so you just adapt and make the most of it. We'll keep you posted. With you. Feast your eyes on the breathtaking scenery of Arches National Park. Discover over 2,000 natural stone arches in Utah's Red Rock Country. And experience the whispers of the delicate arch standing proudly in solitude. As the sun sets, witness the rugged formations painted a fiery red, creating an unparalleled spectacle. The kids had a great time scaling the rocks, and a tip for those traveling in the summer, make sure to visit Delicate Arch in the evening. Not only can you witness a breathtaking sunset, but it's also much cooler than the scorching daytime. Over here. 
So this is what the tracks look like. They step like this. And then based on the footprints, what do we know about the theropod? The theropod is a large dinosaur. This one, these tracks can tell that this animal is moving at a speed 4.5 miles per hour. Oh, so not very fast. Because of his hot leg, probably. Yeah, and based on the tracks, we know he was hurt based on the, his gait, right? The way he stepped. Crazy. Mama! I see Mama, some the light light light. We also have the same thing. Oh. Yeah, look, yeah right I think here. those were over there. What do you say, Gil? Right here. This is that. Oh. But it could be still be going this direction. Do we see any in here? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, are. the big ones. These are. These are. This is it. I noticed. Oh. Wait. So this, this is the seropod. Yeah, this is the seropod section. Gilly and I finished Dino Flow and we're riding back to get the car. How was it, kid? Good. Good? Harder than you thought? Yeah. But did you surprise yourself? Yeah. Yeah. What did you climb over? A lot of them. Yeah. And you went down them too, huh? Yeah. Well, I rode over them. I walked them, but I down them. down them. Yep. She did great. So we're going to get the car. Oh. Go pick up mommy and ride her. Leave the arches behind and explore the untouched wilderness of Canyonlands National Park. Here, the mighty Colorado and the Green Rivers have carved deep canyons into the heart of the Colorado Plateau, creating a diverse landscape. Take a panoramic view from the island in the sky mesa or venture into the needles where the trails wind through stone pinnacles. Experience the raw beauty of the maze, one of the most remote areas in the United States. Lose yourself in the vastness and find yourself in the silence. If you are a person looking for an adventure, Canyonlands National Park is for you. Gotta stay friends forever. We don't gotta stay friends forever. No, no.
finished eating at Trailhead right down there. Just gonna head back to the car via bike and stumbled upon a little festival. So we're gonna go explore and see what it's all about. Right? Good day? What'd you get? An IPA. Oh, how is it? It's actually really good. Do you know the name of it? I have no clue. Okay, well. Listen. We'll figure that out. Welcome here. I can't do everything. <laughs> Oh, for Kiehl's? That's so nice of you. BMX bike park, Moab BMX bike park. And uh, it's pretty cool. All of these kids just rolled up from the neighborhood. Uh, it's right basically in their backyard. And they can just practice all they want. In Moab still got our first rain in months which we knew about um, but for some reason we didn't double check the snow cover so the whole bed of the pickup got wet riders helping and hopefully the generator will dry out we've already had it in the shop because it got all wet so, all right, here's two unplanned chores. Welcome to Drip Tower Land. All right, here's the video from the top. We just climbed up that. Woo. Yeah, good call. And it's a delicate arch. Woo! Mom, you can't step on the sand because the sand is lava. Okay, are we playing that? Yeah. Cool. The sand is lava. Yeah, kids. Uh -huh. No, you got it. Lean forward. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Rai Rai. You got it, Keels. Dig your foot in. Good job, kid. Hey Ryder, what's over there? <laughs> Do you know what it's called? The delicate arch. Yeah. <laughs> Heading down, Keely's driving us crazy because she's playing around. Temperature has dropped drastically. <laughs> Leaving. We thought it'd be faster, but all the kids want to do is climb, which I guess is a good thing. Uh, much colder, much colder, uh, but had a great little hike down, or up, excuse me. And now, hopefully we will uh, make it down before it gets too dark. Of course, we have no lights. Good. Yes. Yes. We back. Woo! Well 
done. There's Whitney and Mom. Come on, Rod, you got it. Yes. Yes. Go, go, go. Pump track at Bar M Trail Parking OK Corral. And this is it. It's uh, really nice. Lots of different features, different trails. Can accommodate a lot of people uh, with some skills. All right, what are we doing, Rai? Pumpkin is back. Yep, for our uh, Halloween music f festival, right? Bob, Bob, Bob's dead. Oh my god. All right, how much money do you have? How many things can you get, Ray? Five. Five. Five each. Five. So. Five. I got. Mom, Mom, my friend's dead. <laughs> what was this bat? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, but you don't like that bat? What else you got in your basket? If I get where, where was this grandma? I don't know. Here, I'll help you. I'll find. It. I'll put it away. It's like orange glow. Oh, you got orange glow in the dark. I want a awesome. spicy wall. So you each kind of got toys like, and decorations. Like, yeah, I only got two toys and then like, the rest decorations. Great, Ryder. I don't think that lightsaber will even work. I don't like it. Good. So, but he's getting a new one. So I got this little notepad. Oh. Where'd you get a skull runner? You know, start journaling. Uh, man, not about such a <laughs> I like man. <laughs> All right, was it success at Dollar Tree? Yeah. Yes. Are we ready? This one of our decorations. Yes. It's purple with a wet. Oh, it's upside down. A purple ah. with a wet. Like the moon, the crescent moon, badge, ah. a whip sign, the road. And then underneath, you could just turn it on. Oh, cool! Good. So, who got more decorations and who got more toys? He got more toys. I got more decorations. All right. Either way, it's gonna be a great Halloween. Typical.